Big Nog versus Skyscraper, dude. Oh, you know what? You can follow me on Twitter, first of all. And I said, this is going to be a sick fight. And uh, no. So you can't you can't uh, predict what the hell is going to happen in MMA, I'm telling you. First round, <laughs> Big Nog basically just pushed him up against the cage and was trying to take him down. Nothing too exciting. He was landing on Struve, too. I'm like... Struve has no head movement. Everybody in the world knows that. And for him to come out of the famous Dutch kickboxers, I mean, uh, he's seven foot, so I mean, I, I guess you got to put that into consideration. But he has no head movement. He could have been KO'd, and he has been KO'd because he absolutely, absolutely has no head movement. And second round, <laughs> people started booing Big Nog because he was basically just taking trying to take Struve down and he was had him up against the cage and I just want to say this Big Knock has like two moves to take people down his wrestling is horrendous he clinches with somebody takes him up against the cage tries to do a toe sweep whatever foot sweep and then take him down that's all he basically tried to do to take Struve down second round though Struve was actually and before I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen the interviews he said in this camp I have been training to keep my distance and utilize my reach and he actually did that in the second round lighting up big nog third round more of the same as the second round except he was landing big shots on big nog and i want to say how many times i wrote this on twitter but how many times have we seen people get knocked out by coming forward by a punch that's not even hard at all Big Nog was coming forward, and he ate fucking kicks and huge punches, not jabs. He was eating jabs a lot, too, but huge punches. And he's he, he was wobbled a shitload of times, but he never went down. This guy's chin is unbelievable. Stefan Struve wins unanimous decision. I actually met Big Nog. This was in 2009 for UFC 100. Dude, when I saw him, he was walking so slow. Oh, by the way, Chel on Twitter, he said, is this fight in slow motion? Talking about the fight. Yes, this fight was very slow. But anyway, I saw Big Nog. He was getting out of the car. He was walking so slow and with a limp. I forgot what, who, what fight he had coming up at that time, but I said, oh, holy shit, this guy is hurt. Clearly hurt. He was limping very slow, seriously like an old guy. He looked like an old man, the way he was moving. But everybody knows this, especially if they've been watching this for a long time. When it's, even when his walkout is slow, but as soon as he gets in the octagon, it's like he musters up all of his energy into the fight. And he finds ways to win, but not this time. But I'm just still very surprised that he's managed to maintain such a, a incredibly long career because his fights have not gone the way like Ronda Rousey's fights have gone. They have been brutal. 